Good day everyone, I am Vernon Talendong and now I'm going to perform and show you on tying a square knot, holding a cravat in a flat surface, top of the head bandaging, performing face bandaging, chest bandaging, and arm sling. But before that, of course, we need two triangular bandage. Second one serves as your dressing. So what are you waiting for? Let's start right now. First, tying a square knot. So provide a triangular bandage, of course. And there are three steps in how to perform a tying square knot. First one is just find the ends of triangular bandage. So these are the ends, right and left. And the second one is to perform the right over left. Again, right over left, right over left. And the third step is left over right, left over right. Then remember not to tie and not to loose. Then if you're going to untie this one, just pull this side and this side. Simple as that. Again, two ends, right over left, then left over right. Not too tight, not too loose. Just pull this side if you're going to untie. And this one. I'm going to perform and how to fold a cravat in a flat surface. But before that, I'm going to show you the parts of a triangular bandage. This is the apex, the sides, the ends, the base, and the body. Again, apex, sides, ends, base, and body. Now, in folding a cravat, we have three, the broad, the semi-broad, and narrow. So if, going, uh, if you're going to fold a broad cravat, just the apex to the base. So this is the broad cravat. And the semi-broad cravat, this one to this side. This is the semi-broad cravat. So, to make it narrow, just this side, fold to this side. So, this is the na narrow cravat. So, to make it narrow, just fold this one to this one. So, this is enough. So, the third one is to perform top of the head bandaging. So, let's say he is injured and let's put dressing on his head. Triangular bandage, hold, uh, hold it three little on the base. One, two, three. And perform this one. Then tying a square knot. Right over left, then left over right. Not too tight, not too loose. Then let's fix this. So these are now finished product. Fourth one is to perform face bandaging. So again, move on, pull three foldings on the base. Then
The fifth one is to perform the chest bandaging. So let's say he has injured in the chest. So let's put pressing on his right uh, side. And then perform now the uh, chest bandaging. So uh, hold two inches outwards on the side for three inches. Then fix. Then this is the and the last one is how to perform the arm sling. So let's say he has endured on the arm. Then the apex must face the elbow the patient so must face this one and then uh, let's fold Let us tie a square, a square knot, not too tight, not too loose. And then on the elbow side, we also tie this one to fix. So then now the um, regular arm sling. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.